Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. In today's video, I'm going to be answering one of the questions that I get asked the most as a physics teacher, namely, what percentage do I need to score a grade A or a grade A star? Just a little note that I'm going to be looking at some of the historical grade boundaries and in particular I'll be looking in the years of 2018 and 2019 as those are the last couple of years in which we had largely uninterrupted exams. You can use the timestamps to navigate this video for your exam board and your course. Just before we get started, just a little note that grain boundaries are absolutely impossible to predict, but it may be useful just to have a look at what they were like in the past. One final note that if your exam board is not included in this video, all you need to do is search for the grain boundaries of exam board X from the year, uh, let's say 2018 and 2019, and what I'm about to show you will be fairly straightforward to find. Okay, well, let's get started. So the first exam board that we'll be focusing on is OCR, and let's start off with OCR Physics A. As you can see, all of the um, three papers, so we have paper one modeling physics, paper two exploring physics, and paper three unifying physics, they all have the separate grade boundaries, and you can find them over here. What, I, what this video will focus on is the overall grade, which is down here. So we can see that in order to get an A star in 2019, we would have needed 230 out of 270, which equates to 85%. In order to score an A, we would need to have scored above 75%. B will be a 64%, C will be 53%, D will be 42%, and E will be above 31%. So let's go back here. In 2018, the OCR Physics A grade boundaries were the following. In order to get an A star, we need, it would have needed 290 marks out of 270, which equates to 81%. A would be at 69%, B at 59%, C at 47%, D at 36%, E at 25%. An excellent revision tactic would be to, for instance, to take the 2018 paper and uh, to take all of the 2018 papers and then see what grade you would actually get. Okay, now back to 2019. If you guys are doing A-level physics from OCR B, i.e. advancing physics with the following papers, fundamentals of physics, scientific literacy in physics, and practical skills in physics, uh, the grade boundaries are the following. They were a little bit lower that year, so an A star would have been greater than 209 um, out of 270, which equates to 77%. A will be 65 5%, B 54%, C will be 40%, D will be 34%, and E will be greater than 65 marks, which equates to 24%. Right, on to our next exam board. So let's check out the grade boundaries from 2019 and 2018 from AQA. For illustration purposes, I've chosen the physics advanced qualification with an option of astrophysics. Those numbers may vary a little bit if you've chosen a, a different option, for instance, electronics or engineering. So, but for astrophysics, we can just use them as a general guide. A star in 2019 would have been above 79%, A 68, 57 for a B, 46 for a C, 35 for a D, and 25 for an E. Now in 2018, the grade boundaries were a little bit lower. Most likely the paper was quite hard. It was also quite um, close to the actual change to the linear A levels. Now A star in that year was about 73%, A was high, than 60, B 50, C 40%, D 30%, and E would have been 20%. Now let's have a look at Edexcel. On the left here, I have the grade boundaries from their A level from 2019, and uh, over here on the right, we have the grade boundaries from 2018. 
18. You can see that the A star grade in both of those years has been 69%. Probably this has been quite a hard paper. A has been above 59 in both years. B above 49, very, very consistent um, grade boundaries among the two years. C has been 40 uh, or 39, and D and E were 30 and 21% respectively. Okay, guys, so now let's have a look at some GCSE's grade boundaries. Let's have a look at AQA from 2019 on the left and 2018 on the right. So a 9 was 71% in 2019 and 68% in 2018. 63% and 60 for an 8, 54 slash 52 for a 7, run around 45, 43 for a 6. Close to 35, 34 for a 5, 25, 26 for a 4, and 20, and 17 for a 3. Okay guys, so next course, the next course that we're going to be looking at is the GCSE Physics from OCR. As an example, I'm going to be using the Gateway Science course if you are doing the 21st century uh, course. The grade boundaries are quite a bit different and all you need to do is just type into Google uh, GCSE grade boundaries 2019 on 2018 and then find your course online where you'll be able to find it from the official OCR website. Okay, well, let's have a look at those. We have a 81% or 77% for a 9, depending on which year you took the, the you guys took the exam. The 8 grade boundary fluctuated quite a bit, so we had 74% here and 68% in 2018. 7 was right around 60%, 6 was 57 in 2019, and 52% in 2018. A 5 would have been 47% over overall and 43% uh, overall in 2018. 38% and 35% for a 4 and 30% and 26% for a grade 3. Finally, let's have a look at the grade boundaries from Edexcel and their GCSC course from 2019 and 2018. Over here on the left, we have the 2019 grade boundaries, which are 77 for a 9, 69 for an 8, 61 for a 7, 49 for a 6, 38 for a 5, 27 for a 4, and 21% for a 3. They remain largely unchanged with some differences. 9 is still 77. 8 is a little bit lower at 67, 7 is now 58%, 6 is 47, 5 is 36, 4 is 25, and 3 is 18. Okay, folks, well, this is the end of our video. Hopefully you found this video useful. Just remember that these grade boundaries are just a guide and it's absolutely impossible to predict the grade boundaries, particularly in the current situation of the global pandemic. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.